Okay, what do we have over here? It's my Samsung Galaxy Tab S3. You guys remember from that video that I use this for all my digital online stuff. Today I just thought I should uh, talk to you guys about what I have over here. For no particular reason, but just in case someone might see something that might help you, a few tips and tricks here and there. You know, over here we are about uh, sharing with you ideas. Just a brief overview before we get into it. This is the Samsung Galaxy Tab S3, as I've already mentioned. It came out in 2017. It's nothing to write home about. It's pretty laggy and slow. It runs Android 9 at the moment, 32 GB internal storage, 4 GB of RAM. For now, it serves the purpose. If I was to complain, I'd probably complain about its speed. It's become so slow over time. That being said, I think we can dive right in. So over here on the desktop, as you can see, I don't really do a uh, fancy wallpaper. I just ran one of the wallpapers that came with the tablet. I have my most commonly used apps on a row at the bottom here. And you can see it's the phone, true color. I have Notion and you can remember that video. I will leave a link up here. I gave an overview of Notion in that video. So yeah, you can click, go, 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 go watch it if you've not already seen it. Back to the home screen, we have WhatsApp. It's WhatsApp, everyone uses WhatsApp. Then just above it, a bit less frequently used apps. And for these ones, I have them arranged in folders. Related apps are in the same folder. For example, you can see pics. This is basically apps related to pictures. The camera on this tablet is not really good. I don't take photos over here, but I do transfer photos from my PC to the tablet sometimes, and I'll show you my preferred method of transferring photos. In this pics folder, as you can see, I have the gallery. We have Google Photos. You guys know about Google Photos just in case you run a phone that doesn't have that much storage. You can use Google Photos to back up your photos though in a bit lower resolution than what you took them in. But I personally don't, I really don't mind losing photos. Next in this folder, we have a number of Adobe apps. I have three of them because I was more or less trying them out. Photoshop Express, Adobe Photoshop Mix, and Lightroom. The reason I installed all of them is because I noticed that there are some functions that you can get in one and not another. An example is if you wanted to mix one photo of another, for example, sometimes when designing thumbnails for YouTube, I need to like get a logo and add it on a certain photo. I noticed that you can't do that in Photoshop Express, you can't do that in Lightroom, you need this Adobe Photoshop Mix. Lightroom is more or less for retouching, brightness, contrast, saturation, all that kind of stuff. The nice thing with Lightroom is it syncs up with the Lightroom account. So once I make some edits on a photo, for example on the PC, I can come and find the same over here on the tablet. This photo, for example, as you can see, it's in black and white. I did this on the computer. I can access it over here in the same state. Social, Facebook, Twitter. I prefer Twitter lights because it's a bit more visually aesthetically appealing than the real Twitter app. On the tablet, the Twitter app is not as good. It has huge tweets all over. And if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, get the link down here. Next is Facebook nothing to talk about. Next is Pinterest. Yeah, Pinterest is basically about sharing ideas. I personally have some board over here that I maintain. It's called Productivity and Digital Life, as you can see. It's a public board, so if you want, you can go to my Pinterest. Again, link down here. You can look at this board. Maybe you will see something interesting. Next on social, we have Relay for Reddit. Reddit is also a nice place I like to hang out sometimes. I don't really post on social media that often, but once in a while I might post something. So Relay is my preferred app for Reddit. On Relay I can easily look at the main points, look at what's going on on the internet and so on. It's nice. Next on the social folder is Messenger. Please don't send me messages on Messenger, chances are I might not read. Next folder, Church. I have labeled it thus because yeah basically these are spiritual apps this is the bible i love this particular bible app because it has these plants that we usually read at night before sleeping and within this same app you can download so many different versions of the bible it's the U version bible app the other apps over here are basically a hymn book and another study guide that we use in church. We've not been to church for like four months now. Next, I have this folder called Google that basically has Google apps. We have Google itself for searching the web. We have Chrome for browsing. 
Gmail, definitely for mails. Maps, for maps. Again, I like using maps even when I'm driving to a place that I already know because, you know, I wonder how people in big towns don't use maps, especially when it even tells you where the traffic is congested and so on. But again, it's taken me to strange places several times, so that is it. It's a love-hate relationship. Then over here, the fifth folder I have here is called Ortho. This is basically orthopedic surgery. It's just a bunch of medical apps. And so that is how my home screen is laid out as it were. So when I slide up, I can go to the rest of the apps that are not on the home screen. Let's just see if there's a few that I may have missed. I will mention them over here. AliExpress, this is shopping from China. Again, I made a video about that link is somewhere up here. Next, we have Amazon. Again, I made a video about this. If you have not watched it, link is somewhere up here. Authenticator, this is basically my Microsoft Authenticator for platforms that support that. I use Microsoft Authenticator for two-factor authentication. Basically, what that means is sometimes when you need to log into somewhere, the first factor is basically the password you put in. The second factor is a code that you get from this app. So ideally, someone needs to have your phone or your tablet before they log into whatever site you're using 2FA on. Next is Banggood, again, another shopping app from China. I don't really shop that much. I just have them here for, you know, just looking at stuff. <laughs> okay, we've already talked about the Bible and so on. Next, we have Brain It On. This is literally the only game that is on this tablet. I don't play games and so on on phones or tablet, but sometimes I just like doing this small game because, you know, it's a physics game, it's a brainy game, it's, it's a bit nice. A friend of mine called Brian introduced me to it, so yeah, I think I like it. Clear scanner, I talked about it in a previous video. It's nice when you want to scan a document, you don't need to look for a scanner really. You can use your tablet or your phone and just use the camera on it to scan a document. And uh, it has some filters that give you the real look of a document. So. If you don't use that, you should try Clear Scanner. It's very nice. Easy Banking is my banking app, the app I use for banking. Nothing much to say about it. Feedly, this is one of the apps for when I need to read something. This is a long one. Let's take a break. Let's take a break. Let's take a break. Meanwhile, you know the drill. If you're not yet subscribed, the button is just down here and there's the notification bell right next to it. Click them so that when I make another digital life or productivity video, you do not miss. Thanks. Okay, let's get back in. Where were we? Feedly. Okay, yeah, this is one of the two apps that I use for reading. So I get here articles from the internet, different subjects that interest me. The other app I use as a content aggregator to get stuff to read from the internet is Pocket. And uh, for Pocket, I have browser extensions that I can save whatever I stumble upon on the internet. And as you can see, Pocket says I have 1100 articles. I'll come back to them later. Next, Firefox, the browser, nothing to say about that. Forest, I've talked about Forest in different videos, I think. Let me link one of them over here. It's the app I use for concentrating when I need to study, when I need to do something on the computer and so on. 20 minutes of concentration after which I take a break. Galaxy Store is Samsung's version of the Google Play Store. I don't really use it. Gboard, this is a nice one. It's Google's keyboard. I always replace the stock keyboard that comes with Android with Gboard. It has a ton of features. I could literally make a whole video about it. If it is an automation platform, if I want to interconnect services, I use it. An example is every time I upload a video on YouTube, I want it to also feature on my Pinterest board. I have a command on Ift that every time I upload on YouTube, it makes a pin on my Pinterest board. Next page, Imaging Edge Mobile. This is basically an app for my camera. If I need to control this camera on this tablet, I can use it. LastPass, this is my password manager of choice. I use it to literally log into everywhere that I log into. I don't remember any of my password. I only know the password to LastPass. And I can also use biometrics. Though again, the fingerprint sensor on this Samsung Galaxy Tab S3 is the slowest I've ever used. Magist Manager, yeah, this tablet is actually rooted. I used to do a lot of modding, customizing, and so on on my tablet, but nowadays I'm not that much into it, but yeah, that is concerned about routing and so on. Moonplus Reader, 
this is literally a reader for nearly all kinds of file types push bullet yeah this is what i was about to tell you guys about when i need to transfer a file from my computer to my tablet or my tablet to my computer instead of looking for a usb cable i just use push bullet it's installed on my computer and it's installed on my tablet so i just head over to the file over there and send with push bullet and instantly it arrives over here next samsung notes for when i need to take notes using this s pen i use notion when i'm typing out notes but i use samsung notes when i'm doing the unwritten thing okay we are on the last page telegram yeah nowadays telegram is not as popular as uh, it used to be at some point a lot of my friends stopped using telegram but i still have it over here because there's a lot of tiny sites and groups and so on over there where you can get some files yeah a lot of them are not legit but if i need a wallpaper if i need a certain file here and there i still use telegram for that i think this should be among the last ones now Xcodeo or Sodo. I've been using Sodo for a long time. I don't remember why or when I started, but it works quite well when it comes to reading PDFs, office documents, and so on. Next, X Recorder. I just downloaded this to use it to record the screen in this video. So, yeah. Next, we have Zoom. Zoom is for Zoom meetings and so on. Ooh. <sighs> that is it that is everything on my tablet if you have found something that you think you might use yeah go on if you have anything that you'd like me to check out as always the comments are down below let's meet over there see you in the next one no pressure